Hello friends, in this video we are going to share our experience for the reasons why the sparrows don't adopt your nest. Many have questions regarding the reasons and wonder why sparrows visit their feeder but don't adopt the nest. So let's discuss what do sparrows expect in your nest. There may be many reasons why sparrows adopt and like to raise their families and also there are many reasons for them to stay and select a nest as a guest and be with us. If we need to attract the sparrows to our nest, we need to develop a trust that the place is safe and no harm will be created and there is no threat from the predators like domestic cat, bigger birds like maina, squirrel, pigeon, shikra so they can raise their family safely. Let's discuss about it. First and foremost is the nest. You may provide a place for them to breed. Nest made out of cardboard box, shoe box, fruit box nest, pot nest, terracotta nest, PVC pipes or any innovative nest, an eco-friendly nest made out of bottle guard, etc. Secondly, the size of the nest is very important. Size of minimum 6 inches into 6 inches can be square or rectangular. We have seen some of them even make a nest out of a coconut shell. If the nest is smaller, the sparrows may have to nest the nesting material like cotton, jute, twigs and prepare the nest. If the nest is smaller, then there is not enough space to raise the fledgings if it is three or four of them in a smaller place. So please keep the space of the nest minimum of six inches into six inches, which may be very comfortable for the sparrows. Thirdly, let's discuss about the size of the entrance hole. As the size of the sparrow, one and a half inches may be round or square. If the entrance hole size is larger, then the bigger birds may invade the nest. Birds like Maina, Pigeon, Squirrel may raise their family and disturb the sparrows. And there may be the reason to abandon the nest. This may be another reason why the sparrows don't select your nest. The entrance hole should snugly fit the sparrow. And if it is smaller size, then the sparrows cannot enter the nest. As many of you have noticed, if you install a nest, the sparrows may visit many times. As seen in the nest shown, see how the sparrow inspect the nest. It goes in and out many times. Once it's comfortable, they look for the nest during the breeding season. Other day, it roosts in flocks and mostly spend in trees and live in flocks. Only during breeding time, they prepare the nest, bring the nesting materials and lay the eggs. Once the fledgings are grown up, after their flight, the nest is empty. So the sparrows don't adopt the nest all the year. Once the fledgings are grown up, after their flight, the nest is empty. So the sparrows adopt the nest and raise the young and leave the nest and again look for the nesting place. Many have questions and believe and expect the sparrows to be in the nest all the time. The sparrows assess all the comfort prior to adopting the nest. Fourth point is, let's discuss about the feature of the nest, the landing stick. All the nest, as you notice, below the entrance hole is the landing stick. It's very useful to feed the fledgings. It brings the food, stands and wait in the landing stick and feed the young. As you notice in this bottle guard nest, we have fixed the landing stick, but the sparrows after adopting the nest, Fill the nesting materials and the landing stick is fallen down. See how the parent bird struggles to feed the fledgings. Now let's discuss about how it is very important to install the nest. The nest should be installed inside the balcony, veranda, so it is not accessible for the predators like domestic cats and other bigger birds. Please don't fix the nest in open space like trees. It should be away from the slabs or any concrete 
so the predators cannot access the nest. Height should be above 7 feet from any floor level. Please fix the nest in a quiet place with less movement of people around so they won't be disturbed. And also fix the nest away from the staircase, front doors where the people movement is more in and out. Fix the nest in a place where there is no direct sunlight, away from the rain, any direction is fine. As we have noticed the sparrows have adopted our nest fixed in all directions and even in the higher heights. As humans, we note down each and every aspect while constructing a house. Likewise, sparrows note down every aspect before adopting the nest. They visit many times, inspect the nest and they live in the nest. Please assess all these discussed above to rectify and if anything is missing while installing the nest, keep these points in your mind and host a nest. Next is, is there availability of food, water and is the environment conducive for them to survive? These may be a few reasons the sparrows expect us to provide for them. Hang a feeder next to the nest. As you are seeing here is the feeder we made a feeding station. Maybe commercial or homemade feeders. Or you may sprinkle some millets and keep moving 10 feet towards your nest. So the sparrows may notice your nest and they may adopt the nest. Now let's see how vital it is to place water for them. Please place water in a bowl near to the feeder and the nest. Now we have the nest, the food and water nearby. So what else do they need? Finally, we need to provide a green cover and plant the trees, plants, so they get plenty of worms, insects, which are protein rich, to feed the fledgings. So please have trees of flowering and fruit bearing for sparrows so they eat all available foods and also we have seen them eating nightshade berries, spinach, coriander leaves, green leaves which is another natural source of food. So they don't have to depend on humans for food. This will add on a favorable environment and sparrows will adopt your nest. If there is unfavorable environment and this may be another reason why the sparrows don't select your nest. You need to spot a sparrow first in your area. Do you spot a sparrow? At least two? Then host a nest. Usually sparrows goes around 100 meters around, 300 feet in radius. If no sparrows around, there is no need to fix a nest. It won't be purposeful. You won't see the sparrows adopt the nest if there is no sparrows around in your area. If you spot a sparrow, then host a nest. Host a nest when you spot a sparrow around 300 feet. Sprinkle the millets. We have many videos in this channel regarding sparrows food, how to make a feeder, how to provide water from recycled water bottle and so many. So provide millets, water and then host a nest, sparrows will find your nest as they look for a nesting place for breeding. Follow these points discussed above. Select a place, install the nest and please don't fill the nest with the nesting material like hay, cotton, jute, etc. You may keep visible to them, sparrows will find them. And please don't disturb them after installing the nest. Don't keep moving the nest from one place to another. Try not to go very closer to the nest and very curious to see the eggs and the fledgings. They keep watching your activities, then they may abandon the nest. Once the fledgings are grown up, they will peep out and that time you may see them. It's very important to note down this. We have covered almost all topics regarding the sparrows. You may see at times bigger birds like mina occupies your nest and pigeons disturb the nest in the feeding area and at times sits above the nest. We will make another video regarding the feeder to see how to protect sparrows from these bigger birds. Once again, 
Thanks for watching Save Sparrows. If I can, you can and together we can save sparrows. Thank you.